We'll be getting our discharge papers any day now. I've been waiting for that for four years. Well, it was a great war while it lasted. What are you going to do when you get out, Bouncer? Well, I'll get back on the old job, I guess, at McGinty's Saloon. Throwing out drunks. Maybe there won't be no saloons. Well, I'm sure. There'll always be saloons. They'll call them buffets from now on. Huh? Buffets from now on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, buffets. Boy, can that guy ride. You don't think they call him Hellfire Austin for nothing, do you? Hellfire Austin. He's a great guy. I thought you two guys was always baffling. Oh, sort of. But I'd kind of like to get on the right side of him. You would? Sure. Well, I can fix it up so you'd be a friend with him for life. How? Huh. Well, out in our range, we have a sort of way of calling a guy pet names when, you, when, we, you know, when we like him a lot. Sort of buddy or pal, just like you say in the Army. Oh, I get you. Well, what do you call him? Sheep herder. Sheep herder. That's pretty. Sheep herder. Sheep herder. Sure you call him that and he'll fall right on you on your neck. Thanks, pal. Was the joke? <laughs> it won't be long now. That certainly is pretty. Like Shepherd and the Good Boy. Sheep white. My last ride on you, old fella. Hello, Bouncer. What do you say? Hello, oh, Sheep Herder. What did you call me? Sheep Herder. Say, fella, what did you sock me for? What did I sock you for? You called me a sheep herder, didn't you? Well, I was trying to be friendly like. Honest I was. Say, listen, you numbskull. But you know out in my country that's about ten degrees worse than calling a man a horse thief? Why, that dirty cow catching friend of yours must have framed me. He said you'd like it. <laughs> oh, he thought I'd like it. Well, oh. I get my mitts on that guy. And another thing, when you're out of here feeling a hundred percent, I'll hand you the niftiest licking you ever had. <laughs> You'd have to travel a mighty long ways to do that. There's only one place in the world I'd ever feel that good. Where's that? West, out in the range country. West, huh? Yeah, out in my country. Say, you may not believe it, but I'm a pretty big guy out there. Everybody in the West knows Ken Austin. Boy, won't I be glad to get back. I bet they'll all be down to deep over the brass band when I get in. Red velvet carpet and all the fixings and everything. You wasn't figuring on going with me, was you, buddy? Who, me? Yeah. Go with you? Uh, I got some pride.
grand country. Sure good to be back. Say, what's the matter with you, anyhow? I'm listening for that brass band you've been squawking about. <laughs> Say, listen. Just wait till they find out we're back, that's all. Oh, what a country. Look at them mountains, boy. Say, listen, take it from me, buddy. We're going to get a big hand. feel like no hand to me. I ought to give you that licking I promised you. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, can't give you no licking on an empty stomach. I guess you're right. Come on, let's go wrestle some grub. There you are. Sure, pretty, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Come on, let's go. Now, wait a minute, Paul. About this here breakfast business. What are we going to use for money? Money? Well, you don't need any money. Everybody around here knows Ken Austin. All i got to do is walk right in that restaurant and just tell them who I am. Yeah, and then what? Then what? Well, they won't only give us breakfast. They'll give us the whole joint. Now, come on, will you? Well, what can I lose? Tony, Austin's my name, yeah. Ken Austin, the great Rodeo rider. You heard of me, haven't you? Oh, sure, sure. Uh, you want something to eat? Sure, what do you got? Oh, I got a good bacon eggs, I got a ham and egg, I got the roast beef, I got strawberry pie, I got... Let off, Mr. Please, you're breaking my heart. Well, you want something to eat? You come right over here, I fix you up a good. Come good boy, Tony. Yeah, you boys will sit down here. Everything's all right. I got everything fresh here, you know, it's good stuff. Hey, give me a program. Oh, sure, I fix you up a two. Hey. All right. Say, Tony, uh, let's don't fiddle around trying to read all that thing. You just use your own judgment. Only see that you bring plenty of it, you hear? Oh, sure. I fix you up a good. I give you a first class. Everything is all right. They watch it for me. Shut up, boy, Tony. All right. Told you, didn't I? Say, that boy don't know you from Adam. Listen, he just don't understand English, that's all. Yeah, I bet he understands enough to know what money means. Ah, be you worried? Oh, look there. Good huh? boy, boy. How are we going to get out of here? Listen. I got an idea. We'll start a fight and work over towards the door and beat it. You think it'll work? Sure, it's got to work. It always works. Now go ahead and insult me. Go on, insult me. How? Listen, Mug, don't be funny now. Come on, call me a sheep herder. Listen, it's all right. We're just acting. We're playing this time. Go ahead. You dirty sheep herder. Who's a sheep herder? Don't fight. So hard. Sorry, pal. No fights, gentlemen. Please, my restaurant, my place. Oh. Trying to get even? I didn't mean it, kid. One more sock and we're out. Come on. Hey, stop fighting! <laughs> See? <laughs> I told you. It always works. That's a swell <laughs> gag. Wasn't it, though? <laughs> This is my country. 
They just go crazy about me. When the great Ken Austin gets back, they'll just give him the town. They'll go right down to that station to meet him with a Wellwood carpet and a brass band. <laughs> you made no mistake about that band. It ain't brass. It's steel. Well, you didn't have to trail along now, did you? Say, you got a knife. I got to give you that licking I promised you. Hey, you fellas, cut out that argument. Get back to work. Pump up that rock. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I'll quit your trouble. Boy, what a beauty. Oh, just a horse. Say, you're the nuttiest guy about horses I ever seen. Say, listen. Come on, I want to get a better look at him. Hey, we can't leave here. They'll think we're trying to make a getaway. Ah, uh, sure we can. He's way around the bend there. Come on. Didn't warn you. We'll get life for this. Here. Come here, old fella. Here. Oh. Oh, boy. Whoa. Recognize the old range call, didn't you, huh? Gee, Bouncer, if I could just own a horse like this. Ah, uh, you're screwy about horses. What a funny. Uh, excuse me, miss. Is it your horse? Yes. I never saw Tarzan make friends like that with a stranger before. He sure is a beauty, miss. He's the fastest horse in the country. I'm going to enter him in the cross-country sweepstakes next week. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Gee, I'd give my right arm to ride him. Are you a good rider? Say, lady, can he ride why well, I've uh, done a little riding in my time. You seem to have a way with horses. I guess it comes kind of natural. I was raised with them. Really? This, uh, working on the road is great exercise. Me and my partner here decided to take off a little excess weight. Yeah, about four dollars worth of ham and eggs. Hey, you fellas. Howdy, Miss Judy. Hello, Bill. Trying to make a getaway, will you? Get back down there where you belong. Come on. Come on. Get going. Bye, miss. Come Bye. on. Bye. Poor fellows. I guess we better be getting home, Miss Judy. All right. Come on, Tarzan. Get in there. Hey, listen, you fellas. Get back to work. If you try to make another getaway, I'm going to take a shot at you. Hey, Mr. Deputy. What's Miss Judy's other name? Brooks. She owns the Barbie Ranch over yonder. Oh. Say, listen here. I ain't here to answer your questions. Get to work. I suppose they're coming to hang us now. All right, Sheriff, take off the bracelets. What's the idea? 
My name's Edmonds. I've heard about you. I thought you'd rather be breaking Bronx than rocks. Well, thanks, but... Uh, oh, it isn't a question of charity. You see, I need another good rider in the sweepstakes next week. I've heard all about your reputation. Gee, that's fine. Remember, young fellow, you are paroled to Mr. Edmonds for the next 60 days. I see. Instead of working out my time here, I'm working it out for you. Is that right? Yeah, that's it. Well, let's get started. What's the matter? Say, what about my partner back there? What, that? Yeah. I can't use that mug. Too bad. Too bad. He was a good guy, too. Hey, wait a minute. What's the idea? All right, you can put the braces back on now. Hey, wait a minute. You see, mister, it's both of us or none at all. We're closed corporation. We always travel in pairs. All right, turn them both loose then. Working out. Oh, it's working out fine. Wait a minute, pretty good time. Good, I'm glad of it. See, I'm expecting you to win this race, you know, Austin. Well, he's a pretty good horse. I'm going to try my best. Well, that's all I want. I think you'll do it. You can depend on me. All right, thanks. Bring me that demand note on Judy Brooks, like I told you? Yes, but I don't know what you want with it now. He's not to present it until after the race. Yeah, well, that's my business, not yours. Say, what's your game, Mark? I believe you're trying to beat that girl out of every dollar she's got in the now, world. Now, wait a minute. All I want out of you is legal advice. Now, get out. I'm sure that Specs, but you're on my payroll. Not a chance. <laughs> I wonder if they're still chasing them horses. <laughs> Guess so. Hey, wait up, will you? Where's the fire anyway? I want to get a look at that Tarzan horse. Horses, horses, all you take is horses. I bet you were sprung up on the back of a horse. Well, that may be funny to you, but that's just about the truth. Bar B Ranch, huh? Nice looking place. Kind of looks like it's going to seed, though. Come on, let's see if we can get a look at that old Tarzan horse. It sure gets results. Fight what's coming. Howdy, Miss Brooks. Oh, hello. I thought you were working for Mr. Edmund. Well, I... I was, but... I got my release from him, and I come over to ride Tarzan for you. Ride Tarzan? Sure. But you can't. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, you'd get yourself into trouble with Mr. Edmonds. Oh, Edmonds? Don't worry about him. I settled with him, all right. I'd say we settled him. Uh, as a matter of fact, we left with his blessings. Oh. Hallelujah. Got one of them right here in me lap. Then, uh, then you'll really ride Tarzan for me? Sure, that's what I'm here for. Oh, that's great. Well, I, I can't pay you. Of course, anyhow, I want to get a look at him. Why, he was around here a minute ago. He's some horse. I guess he's out in the pasture. Hey, there's the old boy there now, hey. Look at that. Is he some horse? Shoes. Thanks. Thanks, lady. Come on, you want to go to the pasture some more, huh? 
Go on. Go on. Get going. Say, uh, listen. You can't stick around here and ride for no girl. You want to go back on that rock pile? Listen, this little girl's in trouble. We'd be a fine pair to walk out on her now, wouldn't we? Ain't we got troubles of our own? I promised to ride for her, and I'm going to do it. Well, I'm pulling out. Well, walking out on me, huh? Walking? I'm running. You're a fine pal now, ain't you? Pal? Say, you got a lot of noise calling me pal, just because you got a speaking acquaintance. Hope they'll fear. Thanks, lady. They're a pal of his old Congress gators. I wonder if them's the kind me butter Alec used to have. No, them was Alec gators. <laughs> Supper's ready. You can come in whenever you want to. Thanks, miss. I'll go with the bunkhouse and wash up and be right in. All right. Uncle Joe, I told you our luck was going to change. Ken Austin's here and he's going to ride Tarzan. You always wanted a pal, didn't you? And what'd you do with him when you got him? You walked out on him. <laughs> I'll kick your teeth down your lion's throat. I'll knock you. You know what I was doing? I was rehearsing what I was going to say to you. Uh-huh. Come on. Let's go put on the feed bag. <laughs> Say, that's the guy that... All right, Curly. Well, what are you doing here? The boss sent me. I got something to hand you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a good one? <laughs> you see, the idea is this. We're organizing a quartet for the sweepstakes, and we want to know, can you sing tenor? Can you? Can I sing tenor? Say, you just listen. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold it. We're going to give you an audition. Look at that boy go. Mm. Give me a Ford. Oh, you mean the kid? Of course. Oh, he ain't so bad. A little screwy. But what do you mean? He's screwy about horses. You know, over in France, he never went out with them mamazelles. Better go riding any day. As a matter of fact, he ain't got no use for women at all. <laughs> Old pal. That was a wonderful ride. Tarzan's a wonderful horse. Uncle Joe, will, will you put Tarzan in the corral for me? Yes, sure. You're not so worried about the race now, are you, Miss Judy? Not a bit. I'm sure you're going to win. You're going to try. Gee, this is sure a swell place around here. Bet you like it a lot, don't you? Indeed I do. Mother and Dad were married in that house. And Father was alive. This was... 
I got a hunch it's going to be busy again. Plenty busy. Wasn't it? He's sure a great horse. Gosh. Nice moon. Sure wish he was mine. The moon. Moon? Oh no, Miss Judy. I guess I was wool gathering a little. I I was thinking about Tarzan. You're not supposed to talk about horses when you're walking in the moonlight with a young lady. Well, I know it. I guess my mind was just wandering. That's all. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, that's Mr. Hicks. He's a lawyer and a very good friend of mine. Oh, I see. Hello, Mr. Hicks. How are you? Oh, I'm first rate, honey. But you're in a jam. What? You know that note you gave to Edmund? On Tarzan, you mean? Yes. Well, he's on his way out here now to collect it. Oh, he can't. Oh, well, yes, he can. For that note was made payable on demand. You mean if I can't pay, he'll take Tarzan before the race? But he, he promised he wouldn't. Yeah, I know that's what he told you. But this thing was a frame-up all the way from the start. Now, he knew, honey, that you wouldn't have that money to pay him when the note was due. So he figured that he'd get Tarzan and enter him in the race himself. Well, the dirty rat! And there's, there's nothing I can do to prevent it? <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> he ain't so doggone smart as he thinks he is. Now, me being a lawyer, I know a few law tricks myself. Now, you and Tarzan have got to disappear until that race starts. But well, what good will that do? Why, don't you see, honey? If he can't find you, then he can't present the papers. And if he can't find Tarzan, why, then he can't get him. See? <laughs> You've got to come with me now. Yes, but, uh, what about Tarzan? Don't worry, Miss Judy. I'll hide Tarzan out for you. <laughs> now, I'll have him there in time for the race. See if you can find that Tarzan. Haven't got a minute to lose. Come on, get in here, quick. Hey, Miss Brooks, I want to see you. Stop that girl, boys. Get those two guys there. Come on, Sharon. All right, bring out those horses. Get him before we get to the house. Get around here, you two men. Hurry up, they're getting around there. Go ahead, girl, the horse. Oh, 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 there. Bowser. Keep that gang entertained for a few minutes. I'll get Tarzan and we'll make a getaway. Sorry, kid.
find the Sentinel Pass, boys. They've got to go through there to get to the county seat and see that Austin doesn't get through. Now remember, fellas, no slip-up. The boss said to get Austin. But be careful that Mr. Tarzan. Say, fellas, somebody's coming down the road there. Hey, cutie. See anything of a couple of fellas with a white horse? He's deep and down, fellas. Get out, you! Hey, you! Try to win them slower. I am. Yeah. Yep, Miss Brooks is already registered. What? That's right. There it is, number four. Did she pay her entrance fee? Yep, about an hour ago. Well, see you again, Edward. Tarzan horse yet? We've searched every stable in the town. There's not a sign of the horse. What about Austin? Well, he did a vanishing act, too. We'll get him. The boys are watching all the roads leading into town. And watch every street in the town, too. Hey, Ken, look. Old man Hicks. Yep, yeah, listen, I got an idea. Come on. Well, hello, Sheriff. Well, more than Hicks. Have they found young Austin yet? No, not yet, but we'll get him. I got the posse out scouring the country for him now. And about Tarzan? Have, have they found Tarzan yet? No, but I figure when we get the man, we'll find the horse, too. You know, by gosh, sure, if I'd like to see Tarzan win that race. Well, between you and me, Hicks, I'd like to see him win it, too. No, Hicks, but I'd like to see it. I'll sit down with you, Sister Hicks. Sorry, I had to be kind of rough with you. Kind of? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've been looking over for you. Yes, and I've been looking for you also. Say, where's Tarzan? Tarzan? Oh, don't worry about him. He's right in the next room. There. In the next room? Yes. A horse in a hotel room? Just it. Last place in the world to look for a horse in a hotel room, ain't it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say, listen, I've been worried. I haven't heard anything. Miss Julia Register, is everything all right? Yes, yeah, Miss Julia is registered, and here's your number. Good. Number four, huh? I got a hunch that's my lucky number. Yeah, well, that might be your lucky number. But do you understand, young fella, that the sheriff has got a posse out home in this town for two? Sheriff, huh? Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, and there's that suspended sentence hanging over you, remember? 
staff and only got Edmonds to book now, but you got the call. Well, I wouldn't be a bit surprised they'll nab you tomorrow morning when you enter that race. Yeah. That suspended sentence does make things bad, all right. Don't you tell Miss Judith anything about this, though. She has enough worries of her own. Now, you tell her everything's all right and that I'll be there. Do you hear? All right. Yeah. Well, good luck to you, Austin. Thanks, I may need it. Wait just a minute now. I take a look. I'll be rooting for you tomorrow. Yeah. We're in a pretty tough spot, soldier. That sheriff. It got me worried. If it's just something, if, it, if there's some way... We... You're the world's champion sap. I told you we'd get in this mess. No girl's worth it, I tell you. Well, listen, kid. I'm hey. sick of everything. I'm gonna blow. that fellow now. Go get Edmonds. All right. See you after a while. That ain't the law. Oh, Sheriff. It ain't for him. It's for Miss Judy. He's just got to win that race for her, or she'll lose everything. Come on, Sheriff. Be a sport. I'd like to do anything I could to help Miss Judy, but... Mm -mm. Gosh, you just gotta... Please. Well, maybe we can fix it. Oh, Sheriff. Thanks. I never liked coppers, but you're a great guy. I'm going over and tell me, pal, everything's okay. I'll be right back. Serve both sentences. Me and me pals. He's got a right for Miss Judy, I tell you. Give me 120 days. You lay off of him. Lay off me, I tell you. Get away from me. No. I ain't. 
You can't make me talk. Easy, Bowser. Easy, kid. It's me. I'm going to fix you up. You're going to be all right now. You hear? Huh? Better? So Edmund's gang got a hold of you, huh? It took a beating, didn't you? It took it from me. I understand the whole thing now. You're crazy. I fell downstairs and hit my head. Yes, but something hit you before. Didn't it? Didn't it? Well, listen, I'm going out and mop up on that gang. They can't beat a pal of mine up that way and get away with it. Never. You, you got a lot of crush calling me pal. Well, oh, I ain't no pal of yours. <laughs> me taking licking for you? <laughs> That's a laugh. I ran into a door, I tell you. I ran into a door. Yes, I know. A door. Pretty bad shape, ain't he? Well, he just better be, that's all. He like... Like I'd murdered him, that's all. Yes, yes, I'll do my best. And listen here. If he's not up and chirping when I... right here in this hotel. Where will you find that horse? All right, boss. Come on, boy. Come on. that race with that horse now. Don't worry. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the big event of the range country, the Tankersville Sweepstakes. There go one lap around the track and high tail it into the open. that he doesn't finish this race in anything gold. There they are, ladies and gents, the best riders in the state. Give them a big hand. They're all set and ready to go except Ken Austin, who rides Tarzan. Get that horse up there, number two. Ready? Why isn't he here? I can't understand.
Hello. Hello. Judge stand? They just passed the first quarter. Edmonds Pinto leading. Tarzan coming up fast. Austin, who's down at last, is moving up. He's gaining him. He's gaining him. Edmonds Pinto is leading. Operator. Operator. Clear that wire, will you? I was talking to the racetrack. Please, you must be quiet. You're the sick man. Button your lip, will you? No, not you. Is this the track? Say, where's me pal? He's riding Tarzan. You're not chirping when he comes back. I'll be croaking. Croak, then. Where's me pal now? Oh, please, you must be quiet. what they've done. They framed them. I'll get them for this.
So I said to the girl, I'm willing to do the right, right thing. And the old man, he wouldn't let her marry me. <laughs> well, here's to the old man. But wait a minute. Always drink to the ladies. Ah, well, here's to everybody. Everybody. You old son of a gun, you. <laughs> right when I figured you might have passed out. Me pass out? Say, listen, maybe the doc has passed out, but I'm just getting in shape to give you that, that lick and I promise you. Yeah. <laughs> but you're in luck, because I don't think Miss Judy over there would like it, seeing you all messed up. You're a great kidder, ain't you, but huh? But you can count on it. You'll get it another time. <laughs> hey, Judy. <laughs> Doc, how I hate that guy. <laughs> 